What's up, everybody? I'm the Nerf Modding Nerd, and I'm sorry if these episodes are a little bit short recently. I just got a puppy around a week and a half ago, but she's taking up a lot of my time, so the episodes of just everything for the next month or two may be a little bit shorter just because I'm running out of time and dealing with her. So anyways, on to this week of Nerf news. I'm really sorry that I missed this three weeks ago or two weeks ago whenever it was announced but the jared's epic nerf battle five dates are announced i don't know if i'll be able to make it i did purchase a ticket so i do have a ticket reserved if i'm able to make it but i'm not sure it will be march 21st 2020 and tickets were on sale around two weeks ago they're already over 50 percent sold out so i highly recommend that you go pick one out if you are going to attend Jared's Epic Nerf Battle. So, Jared's Epic Nerf Battle was amazing. Last year, I'll put a link in the iCards, if I remember, to my video from last year, but I highly recommend it uh, for anybody that loves giant Nerf Battles with 4,000 people. And tickets are now available for, like, $20, I believe, and you can purchase them at www.jenb5.com. Next up, we have a new Avengers Thor hammer, the it's also going to shoot darts. This is going to be retailing for $20 and it will be available in spring of 2020. So I believe this is just going to be like a bunch of the other movie blasters where it's a single pull on the blue button there for a priming and fire. So it's probably going to be fairly weak, but it looks like you can just fire it out of the top. I don't recommend hitting people with this because based off of what it looks like, it looks like it's going to be hard foam or plastic because the dart has to fire out of something that's not you know really really soft foam so obviously this is better as a cosplay toy and you know probably not even good at firing darts but better at firing darts than actually hitting people with because that's going to hurt a lot this was shared by nerf taiwan and i'll give any other updates on it as i find out next up we have more fortnite crop i know i want to limit the amount of fortnite stuff that i put in these episodes but these are melee toys not blasters so i decided to share them so anyways this is kind of like a giant pizza cutter basically is what i've heard it referred to as and it's going to be basically that so it's not going to spin it's not going to actually cut you obviously but it's just a toy for that and next uh after that, we have another melee toy, which is going to be like the Death Scythe. It's basically a scythe. It's pink in Fortnite colors, and it's another melee toy. It looks to be foam on the end, and I assume the pizza cutter will be as well. And I don't have a price or a release date on either of these products, but I do have a name. The first one is going to be called the Axaroni, which is the pizza cutter type thing, and the second, the Death Scythe, is going to be called the Rift Edge. I don't know why they're choosing these names, but whatever that's probably the names in fortnite and last up for today we have a couple new products in the M marvel line so this is the captain america blaster and it is a wrist gauntlet and mask put together and they're going to be selling this soon a captain america shield and this is just a shield that fires darts as well and an ant-man blaster which is another wrist gauntlet so yeah i don't know prices or release dates on these but i assume we'll find out soon so that is unfortunately going to be it for this episode of nerf news if you enjoyed please like share and subscribe for weekly nerf news mods reviews and more i'm the nerf modding nerd and i'll see you next time